Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to add a catch basin to a system, but what's really cool about this one is we're going to dig up a piece of NDS quick, quick drain, easy flow, the styro rock, and it's been down in the ground for over five years. And we're going to dig it up. Not only has it been down in the ground and working for five years, but it's in the center of a driveway. Um, you know, we're in a kind of a country property. Um, they use, it's a couple acres here. They use that to uh, turn around back here uh, in this area. But let's dig it up and take a look. You're going to see it live, same as me. So from this catch basin, right through here, there's easy flow. And this gravel has nothing to do with the French drain. It's just where they're driving over. Like I said, it is. You know, they come through here, they turn around. Um, this one runs over to another catch basin. And remember, I showed you this before. It goes over to where the dry well used to be and then over to a sump pump now. So let's take a look and dig this up. This is live. You're going to see it the same as me. Let's expose. Let's expose this. Uh, NDS quick drain and see what it's doing. Remember, they've been driving over it for over five years and during the rains, the water goes right down through here, disappears, but let's dig it up and take. So this is the driveway and there's actually some easy flow underneath of here and they drive over this every day and what we're going to do is we're going to dig up a section of it and just see, you know, what What's happening to that easy flow it's been down there for over five years and it works great you know it's not flooding in that area but we are adding to the system so let's go take a look okay here's the catch basin let's get rid of that lid and see which way this line's running so it's actually coming this way and it must turn and go that direction. So I'm going to dig starting right here to try to find that pipe. Let me make sure we're still in the camera. So this, I found it. So again, bear with me. I'm just going to dig along the sides of this. And then we're just going to pop it out of here. But it'll take a few minutes. Because I really want to examine. I want to examine what is happening to the styrofoam. Okay? And yeah, I've already you know hit that fabric. You would do the same thing if you dug up a gravel drain. It's pretty hard to just pull it out of there. <laughs> but... Give me a minute. Looks like there's about eight feet of this. I see where they've put some kind of, well, that might be the center of it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the center. So we've still got five more feet to go that way. Give okay, me so being as careful as I could to try to expose this um, NDS, quick drain, easy flow, and I'm just going to walk you down here. We'll start down here at the catch basin, and it rained the other day, and you can see there's, there's water down in the basin because it catches debris, and there is, there's a, there's a little bit of debris down here, not much, but let's take a look at the easy flow, and again, you know, I've been digging on it and stomping on it, but they've been driving over it. <laughs> with all kinds of stuff. So we can see the fabric is still in shape. Um, definitely a root system just from the grass is trying to get down through into your French drain because you know there's water underneath of this a lot for a long time when it rains and all roots, especially tree roots, they're gonna seek that fabric. So let me back up some more. 
you can just kind of look at it try to get down here where you can really see it but yeah I mean it's looking pretty good so far but what, what we want to see is what condition are those styrofoam peanuts the styro rock um, are they full of sand or are they smushed are they collapsed there's the center of the pipe you know that's their their logo was just left on you can see how white and clean that is but keep moving back keep coming back it's a 10 foot section of course I did hit the the the, the uh, fabric with my shovel a couple times but but the big thing is here that I'm seeing is you can see the tree roots or excuse me the grass just grass this is just grass roots and you can see how many there are trying to get into that system it doesn't matter whether you wrap that or not you will never stop roots from entering your system it doesn't matter what you do even in a concrete pipe if there's water there, those tree roots, they're thirsty, and they're gonna seek that water, they'll crack the concrete, whatever it takes to get into it. So, let me set the camera back on the tripod. I'm gonna take the shovel, and we're just gonna pull, just go underneath of this and lift it out of here, and then we're gonna take it apart and see what goes on with it. So, you can see I'm getting hot and sweaty, um, but I think this is worth looking at. Again, you're looking at it the same as me, Let's expose NDS quick drain and actually see how well that works. And so I'm ready to just take a little break here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull that pipe out. We'll use the shovel, take a look. I'll put the GoPro and my regular camera over there. Let's take a look. Okay, so before we pull that pipe, I just want you to look and remind you, remember I put in this green catch basin right here about two months ago, three months ago. It works great, runs over to a sump basin over there, and it's working great. That basin takes all that, drains this acre really quick. But what I'm saying here is this is a driveway, and you can see the path of the cars that come through, and they use it as a turnaround circle. So it's driven over every day, and you can see the driveway. You can see where my van's sitting over there. And basically what I'm gonna do now, is I've already showed you that the pipe's looking pretty good, we're going to pull this out of here, cut it open, and take a look. Remember, there's a lot of misconception about corrugated pipe, how you have to use PVC. Well, you know what? This is looking pretty solid right now. And again, they drive stuff over this big, heavy equipment every day. But let's pull it out of there and take a look. Okay, here we go. We're going to pop this out of here. And it may rip open here by my shovel, but let's just pull it up out of here and take a look at what's really going on. Okay, it feels a little bit heavy, so that could be just sand on the, the pipe and a lot of you know debris stuck on it. But we want to cut it open here in just a second. I'm not sure how they secured it to this catch basin, but we'll figure it out. So there's one end of it. Now let's go to the T. Pull it out. And let's set it over here. I'm just going to move it out of the way for a second. It did rain last night, so might see something in there. Okay, let's get the camera closer. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to drag it over here where it's just grass, something like grass, anyway. <laughs> Let me check the camera. Yep, you can see it good. Okay. So let's just roll it over. And yeah, there's there's a lot of dirt here. It's pretty moist. Okay, because like I said, it did rain last night. But you can see the root system all around this fabric, all around it. I mean, it's everywhere. Okay, here's a little hole from digging. Let's just open it up and take a look. And you can see... These peanuts, and bring it over where you can see it. Yeah, there's a piece of something on there, but but look at the peanuts. That is super clean, super clean. Let's do another piece. Can you see me back here? Okay, I'm gonna rip it open. And what I'm seeing is, let me bring it over, is 
whoops, <laughs> what I'm seeing is just good aggregate, but you can see the root system that's trying to get in there, okay? But this is clean, that's super clean. Now let's cut that pipe open and take a look. Okay, right here right where I pulled it apart the first time, I'm just gonna cut across it and let's just see. I'm gonna cut clear through. Let's take a look. I'll let you see first. <laughs> what do you see in there? Anything? I don't see anything. Looks real good. I can see all the way through it. Is it out of round? Yeah, it's a little out of round, but I think that's just from where I was cutting it because it looks good. Let's cut some more of it open. All the way across. Let me, let me get a knife, it's a lot easier. Okay, got the knife. Let's just cut this open. Yeah, I got a big cleanup to do here, but okay. Let's just open it up and you can see that this aggregate is in perfect shape. I mean, it is in perfect shape. Look at that. Water passes through this aggregate without any worries at all. I'm actually very surprised. <laughs> Water passes through this aggregate without any problem at all. Um, these are so, they're uniform. So the same amount of water can get through everywhere, not like gravel. Nothing bad about gravel. Gravel works great, but we're talking about NDS quick drain and how well it actually does work, okay? Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Let me get closer. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look, there's nothing in there at all. I mean, it is super clean inside there. So the fabric definitely keeps the sand out. The aggregate works good. Okay, take a look. You can see this pipe is wide open. There are some tree roots, or I'm sorry, some grass roots that are getting through there. But look at the condition of the pipe. Look at that. That is perfectly round still. There are some places that I did find that were a little collapsed, in other words, out of round, because this pipe's not that strong, and it's not supposed to be in the driveway. But that's where it's at, and it's a great example of showing you just how well NDS Quick Drain actually works, and it's much stronger than you think. So, one last note, it would be pretty hard to dig up a gravel drain and keep it so contained, no matter how you wrap it and pin it, in order to get to that pipe, you're gonna dig through the gravel. So I don't know if I could show you that example, but maybe the next time we replace one of those systems, because we do replace them at least once a week, <laughs> um, maybe I could take the time to do that. But here, I can definitely show you what NDS does. And the, probably the worst thing I see, and I see it doesn't matter what, whether it's gravel or, or not. You see that root system that's getting into the fabric? That's staying there, and that's just, this aggressive grass, imagine tree roots getting into your system. So, so hopefully I've showed you some truth, you know, about French drains, about how they actually function and how they last and they don't last. But that's five years in, in a driveway where they've been running dump trucks, excavators, all kinds of cars, my van, other people's trucks and vans, dualies, heavy equipment over top of this area and it still works. It still works really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the catch basin and hook, cover it all back up because that's what I came out here to do. But I thought, let's make the video because I think it's interesting stuff. So even in this condition, I got the GoPro running down there. I'm going to go down there in just a second. Let's just see if any water gets through here. Let's just take a look. It doesn't matter what the aggregate is, rock, silo rock, peanuts, it doesn't matter. It works great. Fabric, 
hey, it's got its own issues. And you can see the biggest issue is those roots. That's the biggest issue. Let's look again in the GoPro. Oh yeah, that water's running right through that. Right through that fabric, right through, you know, everything. So just the last little example of the NDS quick drain. Let's move on. Okay, okay, let's sum that up real quick. Video was really about how well quick drain, easy flow, NDS, easy flow works. And that's been in the driveway for five plus years. And I'm pretty surprised myself. It held up extremely well considering so much stuff has been driven, driven over that. The aggregate was in good shape. The pipe was in good shape. What we did find is the growth of roots. And again, tree roots are gonna kill everything. Nothing lasts forever. So that sums that portion up. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drainage. We want to you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.